What's going on people and welcome back to another player versus player and today we've got two great strikers in my opinion maybe a little bit underrated at times by people but if you know your football you know they're not underrated I appreciate them I feel like they're a little bit controversial in terms of over the years they've had problems with managers and even teammates but I don't think it takes away at all from their quality and their ability and it is Nicholas Anelka versus Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And Ibrahimovic obviously just recently retired. So thank you to, for all the memories, sir. Um, obviously played for my team, Manchester United. Um, and he's also one of my favourite players to ever do it. He was an uh, individual, but a leader on that pitch and helped his teams win and won a ton of trophies and had an underrated career. And I don't think he gets a love because he was a very self-confident person. And I think a lot of people mistake that with arrogance. I've experienced it with my own stuff. And I'm sure you have with, with your lives and certain people that don't understand confidence. They will take it and mistake it for arrogance. So Zlatan, one of my all-time favourites. And Anelka, one that I grew up watching through my childhood under um, Allardyce at Bolton, even at Manchester City, before they had all the money. Um, and obviously he was at Arsenal before that as well in his early days. So I'm looking forward to doing this one. Not sure how it's going to go. As I said, big fan of both of these guys. Let's get into it. Anticipation up first then. It's tricky because Anelka, in terms of timing runs and the just sheer speed he had, I, I, he would win it for that. But then Ibrahimovic had a little bit more creation in terms of he could anticipate when the ball's dropping and do something crazy with it. So a tough one for that. Depends on what you're basing it on and type of anticipation. I edge it to Anelka for that one though. Next up we've got Heading. For me, it's an easy one. That one has to go to Zlatan. Um, I don't think Anelka scored probably as many headers as he could have. He just looked like he was one of them players, similar to Henri, that just didn't fancy heading it that much. He would on the odd occasion, but yeah, for me, heading Ibra. Long-range shooting, again, would have to be Zlatan. The amount of long-range shots he scored, even that bicycle kick against England, was from a fair distance. Um, I've never seen someone score a goal like that from that distance. Um, but he scored some absolute bangers over his career. Um, so easy one for long range shooting. Goals, Anelka ended up with 209, which is no mean feat. Probably should have had a few more, um, considering his talent and how good he was. That uh, seems a little bit low for me for him because I expected a bit more. And Ibrahimovic finished with 493, so there's a big gap in it. Has to go to Ibra for goals. Penalties. I don't think either of them were poor. I don't actually know how, I don't remember Zlatan taking that many penalties. I could be wrong on that, but I feel like I remember Anelka taking more. Obviously he missed a, a vital one against Manchester United in the Champions League final to help us win that. I do remember him scoring a fair few as well. So just off the top of my head, I feel like that Anelka probably scored more, but I don't remember either of these guys taking a lot. 1v1s then, um, in terms of tricks, I'd edge it to, to Zlatan and strength, but pace alone would be Anelka. The, the frighten, especially at Arsenal in his early days, he was frightening with his pace. A lot of people fancied Anelka and was the more talented of because they were in the same age range, him and Henri at the time. And Anelka was thought of more talent and was going to be the better player. And I think if he'd have stayed at Arsenal for a few more years, I'm not saying he would have gone on to do what Henri did. But I think he would have had a bit more appreciation than he than he did. I'm going to give the 1v1s to Anelka just because of that pace that he had. And as well, he was just a fantastic finisher anyway. Um, composure then. I think Zlatan was very underrated in this, but I also think Anelka was too. I'm actually going to give it to Anelka, but I could see why you would say Zlatan as well. Uh, dribbling. <sighs> Tough one. Um... I don't think Zlatan gets the props he should for his dribbling because he was quite gangly and it probably looked a bit like he couldn't be bothered, but it was effective. And I think Anelka, just as much, um, was more energetic. Probably a, his pace obviously would get him out of a lot of issues and trouble. I'm going to come back to dribbling. Tenacity, um, I'm going to give it to Zlatan. I think he had a bit more fire in his belly than, than Anelka did in terms of just, especially off the ball work um, and just fighting so I'll give that to, to Zlatan. Influence, very very tough. I'd probably edge it to Zlatan because I feel like he had more big moments over his career where the pressure was on him more and he delivered more than Anelka I think. 
Um, but I don't think Anelka didn't in, uh, deliver. I just think Zlatan did it more. Teamwork. Again, I'm going to have to go Zlatan. I think at times Anelka could go missing on the pitch if he just wasn't feeling up to it that day. It could come across as he was sulking. And I think Zlatan, the amount he's won over his career, and even though he's perceived as arrogant and cocky, he did achieve a lot. So I'm going with Zlatan on teamwork. Agility, look, it's crazy because the, I've never seen a guy as agile as Zlatan is for someone his size. And he's a black belt in Taekwondo as well. So he's got that mixed martial arts background, which I'm a big fan of because I love martial arts. And that helps his flexibility with his football career as well. The, the amount of balls I've seen him take out of the sky with awkward angles with his, like, trying to, like, cushioning it with, like, a back heel and just crazy stuff he was doing. Um, and I think Anelka as well for agility was crazy. But in terms of something a bit different with the agility, like, in the air and stuff, I've never seen anyone do what Zlatan's done. So I'm going to give it to Zlatan on that one. But I could see why you'd give it to Anelka for a different type of agility. Athleticism, give it to Zlatan again. Anelka was a bit more explosive in terms of just acceleration and speed and that, that first 10 yards. But Zlatan, as I said, the power he had, the jumping ability, the agility in the air, as I said, his flexibility in the air, um, taking balls down that others can't. He'd have to get it for me. Technique is a tough one. Again, it depends on how you're basing it. I think the first touch and stuff, debatable for these two. Zlatan for his, his cushioning and first touch in the air, crazy stuff. And, and I think Anelka was underrated in this as well. But I am going to give it to Zlatan. Like I said, he's done stuff that I've never seen another footballer do in terms of his athleticism um, and his technique as well. So awareness, it depends on what you're basing it on. Again, some of the goals I've seen Zlatan score, back heels in the air, having to be aware of if you're going to pull that off, is it going to work? And it does. But that comes from awareness as well. But again, Anelka with the timing of runs, knowing where to be in the box to finish chances off. Very tough. Um, but then, again, what I mentioned earlier with the Zlatan from distance bicycle goal that he scored against England. You can't do that if you're not aware. I'm giving it to Zlatan. It's, it's turning a bit one-sided here, but... Jumping, again, Zlatan. He had the height anyway. Anelka was no small player anyway. But in terms of just... And to a complete athlete and jumping ability, Zlatan easily for me. Strength, Zlatan. I've just realised as well, I started off writing Ibrahimovic or Ibra and then I went to Zlatan. But that's the same person. If you're not a football fan, you won't know that. But I've just noticed that I've done it. Your mind can trail in these videos. So excuse me for that. But Ibra is the same person as Zlatan. If I don't say Anelka, it's Ibrahimovic, also known as Zlatan. Work rate. I'm going to go with Zlatan again. I don't think he gets the props he should. I've seen clips of him through his career of doing extra training, the mixed martial arts background that he would have done on top of the football as well. Um, and just put the, the condition he kept himself in, even to up to his retirement recently. Every time you see him with his top off or whatever after a game, he looks like prime athletic, prime chiselled. He looks it. So work rate. Um, but in terms of just on the pitch as well, but that off the field stuff as well, I can't see Anelka doing that. So, Zlatan, presence, and you've got to give it to Zlatan. I think people respect Anelka, in, especially if those that have played against him, in terms of his sheer ability. But in terms of being on the pitch with them, or in the tunnel, and you're looking at them and think that intimidation factor, that self-confidence, that self assure ability that they might not have themselves, they're going to look at him and be like, whoa, this is going to be tough today. I don't think I'll fancy it. I think I don't think Anelka had that as like Zlatan did, so I'd give it to, to Zlatan for that. Trophies, Anelka finished with 15, but again, your man Zlatan Ibrahimovic finished with 32. The gap is ridiculous again, and a lot of it comes down to an, uh, the, the shape and, and what we were just talking about, the condition that Zlatan kept himself in, because he's, he's won trophies recently as well, so... I think if Anel could have kept himself going for longer, he might have got closer, but sheer numbers, you have to give it to Zlatan. Who's had the better career? Has to be Zlatan. For the trophies he's won, alone, the amount of clubs he's been at, I think he's very underrated in terms of what he brings to a team. Even when he was at United, we got him on the back end of his career. 
and he still helped us win a Europa League. And he was important to us, even in the league in that season. Easy for me. And then legacy. Look, I, I think Anelka was a bit... He's one of them that could have made a lot more of his career than he did. Because the talent and the ability was there. But like I said earlier, some days he would, he would just look like he, he weren't up for it or he just didn't fancy it. And I think that let him down over his career. Um, the problems with managers and... I do think he was a bit misunderstood, but I don't think he made the most of his career like Zlatan did. So for that alone, the legacy has to go to Zlatan. So it's very one-sided, guys. I weren't sure how this was going to go. Let's check the total scores. So there we have it, guys. It wasn't close in the end. Anelka, four. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 17. I feel sorry for Anelka a bit. I, as I said, I really am a fan of him. But these categories, Zlatan dominated. And I never know how these videos are going to go. I can say with all 100% honesty, I thought Anelka was going to be more in this. Nicholas Anelka, four. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 17. It wasn't even close. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, I've got one of these left to do out of the, the original list I had. So, so hit me in the comments if you've got more matchups in mind that you'd like to see for the next player versus player. After, it will be Luke Shaw versus Ben Chilwell as the last one for this. And just a shout out to everyone that supported the new pickups video I dropped yesterday. There'll be more of them coming in the future, as I said. Different types of videos coming as well. So appreciate everyone supporting. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys soon.